the Apple Watch Series 7, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, or the Galaxy Watch 4, which is the best flagship smartwatch of 2021. Hi guys, this is Big Phil from Big Phil TV and welcome back to another video. This time, we're going to be talking about the top flagship smartwatches of 2021. Or let's say if you have about 500 to 600 US dollars to spend on a good top flagship smartwatch of 2021, which should you spend your money on? The Huawei Watch 3 Pro or the Apple Watch Series 7 or the Galaxy Watch 4, which is the king of flagship smartwatch of 2021. Stay tuned to the end of this, this video to find out. And please, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification for a lot of good videos come up on Big Field TV. Without wasting much time, let's check out which one is the best for you. Let me start this video by giving you guys a little history about these three top smartwatches. The Apple Watch Series 7 is the newest year because it was announced and released in October 2021. And the Apple Watch Series 7 can only work on an iPhone. That means if you have Android smartphones, don't even think about an Apple Watch. Don't think about it. There's no way you can connect this on any Android smartphone. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro was announced and released in June. So it is the oldest here, June 2021. And this watch can work on iPhones or Android smartphones, but it works the best on the Huawei smartphones because it is running Harmony OS, a different types of OS. The Galaxy Watch 4 is, was announced and released back in August 2021, and it works perfectly well with Galaxy phone. If you have any Samsung Galaxy phone, it's gonna work so well. But it also works, works good with other, other Android smartphones or iPhones. So, all these th three smartwatches, especially these two, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 4 can work on Android smartphones and iPhones. But if, you if you're thinking of Apple Watch, then you must have an iPhone. And for how much you're gonna pay for any of these smartwatches right here? The Apple Watch Series 7 costs 400 US dollars for the 41 millimeter. But if you wanna go for the top, the biggest one, the 45 millimeter, that's gonna cost you 430 US dollars. The Galaxy Watch 4 costs the same thing. 400 US dollars for the normal Galaxy Watch, but if you have to go for the Galaxy Watch Classic, uh, Classic, it's gonna cost you about 430 to 450 US dollars. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro is the most expensive smartwatch here because it costs about 600 US dollars to over almost 650 US dollars, depending on if you're going for the leather band, like the one I have here, this is leather, or if you're going for the titanium band, it's gonna be more expensive. It can go up to 700 US dollars. And there's a reason why it is the most expensive here. I'm gonna to explain to you guys later in this video. But when it comes to the prices, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro is the most expensive. And also the price can vary because for example, the Apple Watch Series 7, you can have it in so many different materials. You can have it in titanium, you can even have it in Hermes, Hermes design. That's the most expensive, Hermes design. Can goes, I think the price is around 1300 US, US dollars. It's a lot of money. The Galaxy Watch 4 is just, the normal uh, Galaxy Watch 4 and the Classic, and the Classic is the most expensive. All these three smartwatches right here have excellent build. They're all really nice. I mean, they feel and look premium. But the one that has the best build quality and the best material is the Huawei Watch 3 Pro because it is made of titanium. All this is titanium material, and that's one reason why it is very expensive. The Galaxy Watch 4 is stainless steel, which is also great build quality. But the least here, I mean, the one that I think has the least material or the least build quality is the Apple Watch Series 7 because it's made of aluminum, but it doesn't feel cheap. It looks and feels premium. It feels like an expensive watch. But the one that has the best build quality, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, just because it's titanium, because everybody knows titanium is more expensive. It is much better, much stronger. And also, even though this watch is very big, the biggest watch among all these three right here, but it's very lightweight thanks to titanium build. And for the design of these small watches, they are very different from each other. It's just gonna be based on your preference. For example, the Apple Watch is square, the Galaxy Watch is circular, the Huawei Watch is circular. So it's gonna be based if you like circular smartwatches or a square watch. But 
The design of the Huawei Watch 3 Pro looks good. I mean, it has a lot of line and crease. It just have a lot of nice design, but it looks classy and elegant. This is a watch that I've used the most. Like since I bought this watch, I use it most of the time as compared to the other two. I use this one so much because it is big. This is the biggest smartwatch right here. If you're somebody who like big watches, like me, as you can see, I love big watches. This one is something you should consider because it is 48 millimeter. Why the others are 46 and 45? This is 48, the biggest. So when you put it on, it feels manly, it feels rugged, it feels, it just looks, it's nice on a big wrist. And for the Galaxy Watch 4, it looks classy also and elegant, round. But I'm not really a big fan because I feel like Samsung went back from their design because the Galaxy Watch 3 had a better, had the best design on all Galaxy watches. But on a Galaxy Watch 4, Samsung went somewhere different and they used the button are all square instead of the round circular button of the Galaxy Watch 3. So, I'm not really a huge fan of the Galaxy Watch 4, but it is alright. It is small, lighter, much thinner as compared to the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. The Apple Watch Series 7 is square, as you've seen right here. There is not huge difference from the previous one. The Series 7 looks the same as all Apple smartwatches except for the display, which we're going to talk more about it later. The display is the biggest upgrade, especially for somebody coming up from Series 6. The Series 7 looks exactly the same, yeah, except for the design, the, the, the display. Yeah. So when it comes to the design of these smartwatches, it's just going to be based on your preference and also the type of phone you have. And all the smartwatches are covered with excellent durable glasses. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro is covered with a good sapphire glass, which is very uh, durable, very resistant to scratches. Since I've been using this watch, I haven't seen any scratch on it. It still looks great. The Galaxy Watch 4 is covered with Gorilla Glass DX Plus, which is also one of the toughest glass on a smartwatch. The Apple Watch Series 7 is covered with a sapphire crystal glass. According to Apple, it is the toughest glass ever on an Apple Watch. I mean, I'll be, uh, I'll be using this watch just for about one week now, so I don't know how it's gonna hold back, but you guys need to stay on, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so because I'll be giving up a lot of updates about the Apple Watch Series 7. According to Apple, this is the toughest glass on any smartwatch. We're going to be finding out. I'll be letting you guys know everything. Or you can follow me on Instagram if you want to know more. Because I post a lot of photos and videos on my Instagram at Bigfield TV. If you want to know more about all these three top smartwatches right here. So, even the back, they are covered with sapphire glass on the Galaxy Watch, the Apple Watch, and the Huawei Smartwatch, Huawei Watch 3 Pro. They're all the same. Sapphire glass cover the sensors, all the sensors, which we're going to talk more about the sensors later in the video. And talking about a display of these top flagship smartwatches, the Apple Watch Series 7 has the biggest display, 1.9 inches, the biggest. But the body doesn't look different from the previous one. It's still the same. That's because Apple reduced the bezel. So now the display is much bigger thanks to slimmer, I mean almost bezel-less, the Apple Watch Series 7. That's why a lot of people love it because the display is big and beautiful. We're going to talk more about it. The Apple Watch, uh, the Galaxy Watch 4, is the smallest 1.4 inches so if you're somebody who doesn't like big watches or big display then you should go with the galaxy watch 4 because it has just 1.4 inches the huawei watch 3 pro even though it is the biggest watch here 48 millimeter but the display size is just 1.43 inches so that means the display of the apple watch series 7 is bigger than that of the huawei watch 3 pro which is just 1.43 and when it comes to the resolution the Huawei Watch 3 Pro has the best resolution. I mean, on paper, it has the best because it has a resolution of 466 by 466. The best on paper. And if I want to talk from experience, because I've been using this watch for, I mean, longer than all the others, the display is incredible. It's beautiful. It's bright, much brighter. The Galaxy Watch 4 has a resolution of 450 by 450 which is the least here. The Apple Watch Series 7 has a resolution of 483 by 352. Uh, so the Galaxy, uh, the Apple Watch Series 7 and the Huawei Watch 3 Pro have great resolution, I mean on paper. But if I have to talk about my experience using these three top smartwatches, I mean the 
Galaxy Watch 4, I haven't used it that much because I've done mostly hands-on and use it from friends. I haven't actually owned it for a long period of time. But I'm going to say the Huawei Watch 3 Pro and the Apple Watch Series 7 have the best display on my experience. They're beautiful. The contrast is just incredible. The black is deep black. Everything just looks so good. Even the Galaxy Watch 4, beautiful display. All of them have great display. So you won't go wrong buying any of these smartwatches based on their display. And they all have beautiful watch faces to match those incredible displays. But if I have to pick one smartwatch that I think has the best watch faces, I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys. You guys are my followers, my subscribers. I love y'all. I have to be honest with you guys. The Apple Watch Series 7 <laughs> has the best watch faces. And to me, that's because the watch faces here are just so good. They are clear. They are crisp clear. They are so bright. They are, the contrast on all the watch faces here are incredible. And also another reason is because Apple does not allow third-party watch faces. So if you are buying an Apple Watch, the watch faces that you use on it are the watch faces that were made by Apple. And they are good quality. On the Galaxy Watch and Huawei Watch 3 Pro, there are thousand i mean if not million of watch faces that you can choose from mostly third party watch faces but apple does not have it then that's the reason why the watch faces that comes with the apple watch series 7 are the best beautiful the best contrast sharpness everything and when it comes to the always on display these are the two watches that have the best always on display the apple watch series 7 and the galaxy watch 4. the huawei watch 3 pro doesn't have good the always on display here at I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, garbage, worse, bad always on display. But I would say just around three or four watch faces have good always on display. But these two, almost all the watch faces have great always on display. So if you're looking for the best watch with the best always on display, think about these two. And when it comes to the performance of these three flagship smartwatches, I'm going to say they are all good, but on paper, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro has two gigabyte of RAM, which means it has the highest amount of RAM as compared to these other two smartwatches. Two gigabyte of RAM and 16 gig of internal storage. The Galaxy Watch 4 has 1.5 gigabyte of RAM and 16 gig of internal storage, the same. Why the Apple Watch, y'all know Apple does not really talk about RAM on their smartwatch. I don't even know how many amount, I mean the amount of RAM that is in the Apple Watch Series 7. But for the internal storage, it has 32 gigabyte of internal storage, a lot. And 32, which I don't know why they put so much. I mean, I've never used that amount probably to download watch faces and uh, uh, updates and all those stuff. But 32 is a lot for a smartwatch. But if I have to be honest and based on my usage, the Apple Watch runs much smoother as compared to the other two. The Galaxy Watch, secondly, runs also much smoother as compared to the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro is getting better. When I bought this watch, the software was bad. I mean, it was so laggy, so everything was not, was not great. But thanks to updates, I've received about three updates already, big updates on this watch. Now it's getting better. It's much smoother now. It's the right time I can recommend it to anybody because the performance is getting so good. So, these three smartwatches have great performance. And for the software, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro is running on the Harmony OS. And that's the reason why it hasn't been the best performance because Harmony OS was just released when this watch came out. That was the time when Harmony OS. Now it, ha it has a Harmony OS 2. So Harmony OS is new and the performance of the software haven't been the best yet, but thanks to updates, it's getting better. Galaxy Watch 4 is running on the Wear OS, which it's all right. It's it got nice app for that one. I like it because it has a lot of nice, beautiful applications that were not available for Tizen, but they're all here. The Apple Watch Series 7 is running on the, the Watch OS 8, which I think is incredible. It's amazing Watch OS because it's so smooth. Everything is so fast. No lag, never had any hiccups on this watch or any Apple Watch that I've ever used. So Watch OS is the best. Secondly, uh, the Google Wear OS. Then third, Harmony OS. The only smartwatch here that have the best battery life is 
the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. That's because it has five days of battery life on a single charge. But from my usage, I was able to have four days depending on the usage. If you have, if you have to do intense usage, it might go like three days, which is still better as compared to the other ones for intense usage. But if you have to do moderate usage, five days, four days, which is great. Then it also have the ultra long battery life mode, which turns off a lot of things, reduce the brightness, a lot of things are not available, but it gives you 21 days on the ultra long battery life mode, which is great for people who like to take their watch to places where there are no means of charging, like going on adventure, climbing mountains and all those places. You want to turn on ultra long battery life mode on the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, which will give you 21 days, but I've never used it. I've never used ultra long battery life mode. For the Galaxy Watch 4, you can have two days of battery life on a single charge, but from my experience, I've used a lot of Galaxy Watches. Galaxy Watch 3, it's mostly on intense usage. It's mostly one and a half day for intense usage. For the Apple Watch Series 7, everybody knows it has the worst battery life on any smartwatch. One day, just one day. And for charging these devices, they all have fast charging. But Apple Watch Series 7 has the better fast charging system, which means this thing charges really fast, so fast that, wow, I'm always impressed whenever I'm charging it so fast, more than these other two smartwatches. And one important question I've received from most of my friends, subscribers, viewers is, which of these smartwatch, these three smartwatch has the best applications? I'm going to answer that question today, but it's a tough question because it's hard to determine which one has the best application because all these smartwatches have different applications and they work differently. But if I have to be honest and pick which one I think have most important applications, I'm going to put it that way, most important applications that you need in your life, day-to-day -day activities like going out, for exercises and all this stuff. The Apple Watch Series 7 has... I mean, most of the applications that are on this watch that comes with the watch are very good and so important. For example, the noise measurement app, it has a noise measurement, which means if you go to a noisy environment, the watch can let you know that, hey, this environment is too noisy. You should take some precaution. Just imagine that. But that app is not available on this other two. It also have things like uh, the compass. The compass here works so good. It has walkie-talkie. Can you imagine that? A walkie-talkie on a smartwatch. Wear OS or the, uh, the Android Wear OS also have great applications. I'm not going to lie. They are very good applications as compared to when Galaxy watches were using Tizen. I think Android Wear OS is great when it comes to applications because there are a lot of beautiful and nice applications for it. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro, which has a newer Harmony OS. It's getting there. It's getting better. With updates, they're bringing up new uh, app, new applications that are getting there good. New ones are coming up every time. But the winner here is the Apple Watch Series 7 when it comes to beautiful and most important applications. But for health and fitness features, these three smartwatches are excellent. They all have a lot of exercises that you can choose from. That means if you take any of these three smartwatches to the gym, you won't lack any exercise that you have to choose from when you're doing your fitness or anything you're doing in a gym because they are really good. For the basic health features like uh, blood oxygen, heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, they all have it the same. None of them works better than the other. They are very accurate too. I mean, for the most time, I've been using the Huawei Watch 3 Pro in the gym and exercises, very accurate. The blood oxygen on this thing works so well on the Apple Watch. But now, the only difference when it comes to blood oxygen feature is that on the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, it works automatically. That means it just check your blood oxygen feature at all the time. But on the Galaxy Watch 4 and, and Apple Watch Series 7, you have to do it manually. You have to tap to measure it. Uh, the stress measuring on the Huawei Watch 3 Pro is just automatic. That means it lets you know every time how your stress is going. If it's high, it lets you know. If it's low, it lets you know. So here, it's automatic. But on these other two smartwatches, you have to measure them manually. Yeah, they all have sleep tracking. It works so well. I mean, when it comes to all those fitness and basic health features, they are 
excellent. You won't go wrong buying any of these three smartwatches in those departments. And other features that are very similar on these three smartwatches include things like a form of payment. They all have different forms of payment. For the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, it has the Huawei Wallet, which is only available in China right now. It's a form of payment that you can use the watch to pay different, in different places. For the Galaxy Watch 4, it has the Google Pay or Samsung Pay. So you have two forms of payment on the Galaxy Watch 4. For the Apple Watch Series 7, it has Apple Pay, which works so well. All of them work so well. But when it comes to all those different forms of payment, the Galaxy Watch 4 and Apple Watch are the ones that you can use in most countries around the world. The Huawei Watch 3 Pro is only available in China. And other features are things like Wi-Fi. They all have Wi-Fi, they have NFC, GPS, all those basic and important features are all on this watch. They have microphones. All these smartwatches have microphones and speakers, which means you can use them for making calls, or you can even listen music from the watch because they have a lot of internal storage. But one advantage for the Huawei Watch 3 Pro is that it has eSIM. This other two doesn't have eSIM. But if you are going for the cellular version of these other two smartwatches is going to increase the price. The money will be much, uh, much expensive as compared to the Bluetooth version. So, but the Huawei Watch 3 Pro only comes with eSIM, so you must have eSIM with it. And that's all about this video, guys. But I'm going to end the video by saying you can't go wrong buying any of these three smartwatches. But you have to remember, if you have an iPhone, the Apple Watch is the best companion. It's a perfect match with an iPhone. And it doesn't work with any other smartphones. No Android smartphone can work with it, nothing. Only an iPhone. But if you want to go for the Galaxy Watch 4 or the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, it's good because it works with an iPhone or any Android smartphones out there. Yeah, but you won't go wrong buying any of these smartwatches. They're all of them really good. It's just gonna be based on your preference or their budget or if you like more battery life, or if you like much better performance, or better uh, internal storage, it's gonna be based on your preference. Yeah, but if it's me, if I have to choose one smartwatch, if somebody come right now and say, hey, Bigfield TV, pick one of this smartwatch right now, I'll go with the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. This is the one I'll go with right here. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on notification for more videos, more great videos coming up on Big Field TV. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.